After finding a mysterious site in the forest, I fall through a patch of leaves and somehow get stranded in this insect infested world. This is Minecraft The Erebus Tales. I opened my eyes to see a vast horizon of orange dirt, but after I finally realized what was going on, I realized I was surrounded by a bunch of insects. So far, it didn't seem like the scorpion saw me or these beetles wanted to attack me, but I just had some sort of feeling that I was going to be fighting for my life in this dimension, so I was going to need to find resources very quickly. I took a trip behind me where I saw two new biomes. One of these biomes was a darker biome, and I tried punching at this tree, but it was unbreakable. I didn't quite know what this stuff was on the floor, but I knew that this dimension was giving off crazy ominous vibes. I decided to continue into the jungle looking biome. I heard spider sounds coming from everywhere, but I had no choice other than to continue to punch this tree. I went ahead and used this mahogany wood to make a crafting table and made myself a wooden pick and started mining what looked like to be stone. I got 9 pieces of what was supposedly under cobble and I made myself a stone pick, shovel, axe, and sword. I was a little better off with these tools, but it definitely wasn't going to last me long. I took a look around and it looked like I was seeing some iron ore, so I was going to go for that next. I ventured into the caves where I saw these vine-like plants. I broke one of them and I picked up a couple dark fruits. This was good because I didn't have any source of food other than the 10 potatoes. I did run into some lapis and picked it up just in case I needed it for the future. After searching around for a bit more, I finally ran into iron ore. I really didn't want to explore until I had a good amount of iron. So I gathered as much as I could, but it still wasn't enough. I made an under cobble furnace and used my wood to smelt my iron. As of now, I didn't even know if coal existed in this dimension, so I relied on wood. After waiting for my iron to smelt, I spotted an enemy in the distance. I had a feeling I was gonna have to go down there though in order to explore this dimension further. I saw a bamboo looking plant and decided I was gonna go down there after my iron was done smelting. I made an iron sword and an iron pickaxe and even crafted a bucket just in case I got water and I made my way through the caves. And that's when I came upon a nasty looking slug. It was called Dylan Forever. I don't know if the slug's name was Dylan but I took it down. It dropped a beetle larva, and in hindsight, I should not have had that. After tripping out for a little bit, I made myself an iron chest plate, and that was all the iron I had left. I went down to the bamboo, and sure enough, I got bamboo. I wasn't really hopeful that I could eat any of this, but I chopped a lot down, and it turns out I could just make more wooden planks with the bamboo. I got a few more bamboo pieces, and I ventured into a cave where I saw a new type of enemy. It looked like a long centipede. That was definitely not something I wanted to run into, but I found two new ores and I needed to explore them. I found one of them, and it turned out to be coal ore. I grabbed a few pieces, but went and checked out the other ore where I mined petrified wood. But after mining one piece, the centipede found me. It started rushing me, and I did my best to fend it off, but it was too fast and it ended up hitting me multiple times. Fortunately, it didn't do much damage, and I took it down with ease. The centipede dropped something called Biovelocity. I also picked up a poison gland, which I got an achievement for. I had a feeling the petrified wood would be useful, so I went back to mine it all, and that's when I found quartz down below in the caves. I didn't need it at the moment, but it was nice to know that I had an ore that would give me a lot of XP. I took the time to smelt some of my potatoes, and I tried playing around with crafting recipes with bamboo, but all I could figure out was that I could make crafting tables. So I settled with that. After smelting a few of my potatoes, I found a wasp, and that was very unsettling. Thankfully it didn't see me, but I also lost sight of it, so I decided to get out of there before I was attacked. I hopped on over to this other cave looking for more pieces of iron because I still needed three more pieces. And that's when I saw this giant beetle that apparently saw me first. The fact that I was about 15 blocks above it and it still was tracking me was very scary. I could hear the bug below me the whole time I was smelting iron. And that's when random explosions started going off. Whatever that was, I wanted no part of. I figured that if I made full iron armor, maybe I would stand a chance against all these bugs. So I decided to hide in my hole until I smelted all of my iron. I crafted up my pants and made my helmet and boots, and then I decided to venture out into the wilderness again. I didn't know what the explosions were, and I could hear the bugs below me. I got on out, and more explosions happened, so I decided to start running. I found this orange looking sand that apparently was not breakable. I had my suspicions that it was quicksand, and sure enough, I almost got stuck in it. I found this fly that I tried swatting, but I couldn't hit it. 
but so far I was surviving so that's all that mattered. I picked up a few pieces of gold and I continued through the jungle. And that's when I found myself this weird structure. It looked like some sort of crystal ball. I started breaking the blocks and it broke like glass. It turns out it was an amber ball. I saw bugs frozen inside of it so I tried mining over to it. I took down another Dylan beetle and I stumbled upon the block with the bug encased inside of it. And this was the worst decision. I broke open the block and the giant exploding beetle popped out of it. And on top of it, a giant mosquito came out of nowhere and tried attacking me. Just when I thought I was surviving, I started being attacked by everything. I went out of the caves and started running. But then a bug popped out of the cobblestone. Things were not looking good. I needed to eat food because I wasn't regening. I tried going around this hill and I was hopefully gonna build up so the beetles wouldn't get me. But even after running, there was something right behind me. It was a bot fly. Take that back, it was actually a butt fly. Thankfully, I took it down and the beetles weren't after me. But that was quite a close call. I stumbled upon a pool of water where I decided to grab a water bucket and I found these cattail things that apparently dropped papyrus. It didn't do anything so far, but I kept it. I found a new ore, but right as I went to mine it, the exploding beetle came out of nowhere and dropped down on me. I had no choice but to stand my ground and fight. My armor was helping me out with the damage and fortunately, I took it down. It dropped gunpowder and something called an exoskeleton plate. It also dropped blaze powder, so I guess that beetle was literally made of explosives. That new ore I mined did drop a temple rock, but once again, I didn't have any use for it so far. This is only my first day in the Erebus dimension, and I'm already terrified of what lies in this world. I made it through the jungle, and I looked out upon some sort of plains biome, and that's when I saw the unsettling spiders. I knew just by seeing the spider that there were probably far more scarier things in this dimension. But if I can keep fighting my way out and survive for long enough, maybe I can make my way out of the Erebus dimension. 